everyone. Today we're going to be creating paper marbling. Paper marbling is a technique where you use um, paint to make a piece of paper look like marble stone. And marble stone has kind of swirling colors going through. It's very beautiful and abstract. And so we're going to replicate that by using some materials that you might have in your house. So let me show you some things that you'll need for paper marbling before we get started with the how-to. So you're going to need some sort of tray. It doesn't have to be this big, but it probably should be about the size of whatever paper you're going to use. You're gonna need some paper. You can use paper from the printer. You can use construction paper. You can even use notebook paper, sketchbook paper, whatever kind you have around the house. So you need a tray and you need paper. You're also going to need some shaving cream. Um, just the cheap shaving cream will work perfectly. You don't need to use somebody's special smelly good shaving cream. Um, so make sure you have permission to use whatever it is that you have at your house. The paint part, you can use several different types of paint. You can use craft paint or acrylic paint. Um, you can use liquid watercolor that works really well. You can even use um, food coloring. Now, if you use food coloring, you need to be a little bit more careful because the food coloring does stain. So you might wanna wear some gloves when you are using it and be um, very careful with where it goes so that you don't get it on everything. Um, so if you use food coloring, make sure that you are a little bit more careful. You've noticed that I put newspaper down on my table. That's just to help with cleanup because it can get a little bit messy. You may need a piece of cardboard that's long. You don't have to, but you'll see what it's used for in just a minute. So you may need a little piece of cardboard. Um, some things that you might need are um, a popsicle stick is something you could use or a skewer. It's kind of like a long um, toothpick um, or a straw would work for when I show you what this is for in just a minute. So those are the types of tools that you're going to need for paper marble. All right, so let's get started with how to do paper marbling. Um, first, I'm gonna take my shaving cream and I'm going to put it in the tray. Uh, you don't need it to be super thick, but you don't want it to be really thin either. So I'm just going to fill the tray. It gets nice and fluffy like a cloud. Might have to shake it up before you go. I think I forgot to do that. And you're just gonna fill it up so that it is at least the size of the paper. Okay, so it should look like a fluffy cloud. Then I'm gonna take the cardboard, the flat part, and I'm just gonna smooth it out, just to make kind of a nice smooth working space. So I'm using the cardboard to smooth it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm gonna choose the paint that I'm gonna use, and I think I'm going to use the acrylic paint. It's better if it's a little bit more liquidy. You don't want it to be um, very thick paint. And then I'm gonna do just drops of my paint color choices into the shaving cream. Just around randomly. Don't draw a picture. You're just going to put little dots and dribbles of it. Uh, you can use three or four colors. Don't go too crazy with your color choices because remember if you mix too many colors together, you're more likely to get brown and you probably want it to be bright and colorful. So be careful with how many colors you put. Let's see, I think I'm gonna add some green. I'm shaking my paint up a little bit just to make sure that it comes out and it's not too watery or too thick. So sometimes you might have to do that with paint. Just put little dots around. And then let's see, I think I'll add just a little bit of this pinky red color. If I can get it open, there we go. So just a little bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose one of the tools that I showed you a minute ago, either a popsicle stick or the skewer or the straw. I think I'll choose the straw and I'm just gonna drag my tool through the shaving cream so that the paint kind of starts to swirl together. I'm not gonna stir it up, I'm just gonna drag it. You don't wanna stir it up because that's when you start getting the murky brown colors. 
And we want to still see the beautiful colors that you chose. So I'm just going to go back and forth. You can do a circular motion if you wanted to. Just make sure you don't mix it all the way up. So I'm just going to go until I've got a nice little pattern. And then I'm going to put my tool down and I'm going to get my piece of paper. Make sure that you can still see white of the shaving cream. You don't want to have it all one color. So I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to press it on top of my design. Rub it nicely, very carefully. You'll start to see the design through the paper if you have a thinner piece of paper. So just rub it. And once you think you've got it rubbed nicely, pull it off and set it to the side and let it sit for about two or three minutes. All right, I've already got one that I have waiting. So I'm gonna bring it to the table. And you don't wanna leave this shaving cream on there. So I'm gonna use the popsicle stick. You could use the cardboard again to just scrape the shaving cream off. And it will leave behind a pattern, oh, and see it's messy, and it will leave behind the pattern that you put on your shaving cream. And so this is a type of printmaking that we've talked about before. Um, and then afterwards, what can you do with this? It can be a piece of artwork on its own because it is beautiful, this type of artwork. Um, or you can make something out of the marbled paper after it dries. Let it dry before you choose to make something else out of it. So I'll show you a few things that I did. It could be something simple as cutting it out to make a shape. So I made a little simple butterfly out of this paper marbling. Um, I used the liquid watercolor for the paint on this one. Um, you could get really fancy with it and do kind of a found object type art with it. So there's a little fairy design with the wings as paper marbling. Um, or you could even draw on top of it, right on top of it. I made a little journal cover out of this one. So there's lots of different ways that you can change your paper marbling into something new. So this is really fun to do. You can go and make another print of the leftover paint. You can kind of smooth it out, add more paint to it, and make another paper marbling design. Um, and it's just a lot of fun to do. It is a little bit messy, so make sure you clean up afterwards. Have a lot of fun, and I can't wait to see what you create.